Hi, I'm Cassidy Miller. I'm the owner of Studio Yeg Art. Um, the reason why I opened this shop is because I really wanted to support all the local artists in Edmonton as well as give people a chance to be creative. Um, I myself am a visual artist as well as a teacher. Uh, so instead of teaching in you know, high schools now, I, I teach here. At Studio Yeg Art, uh, not only do we have a beautiful gallery, uh, we also do lots of different private events. Um, we offer tons of different classes, just to name a few. We offer paint classes, Paint Your Pet's a big one. Uh, we offer abstract painting, uh, sculpture making, stained glass, hand building with clay. Uh, we really want to offer kind of a bunch of different um, mediums. So, you know, maybe stained glass isn't your thing, but painting is. Um, within our private events, we really like to collaborate with other local businesses. So sometimes we'll do, you know, a hand building mug workshop and then we'll pair it with a mixologist class so people can you know, have the craft component but also let loose and have some, have some drinks at the end of it. We, we have really created an atmosphere that lends itself to an, a really unique experience. Um, there's sometimes not enough of them in Edmonton, whereas you, know, you can get your group of friends, whether that's for a birthday or a stag get, or, or you, know, you just want to have a get together for no reason, ne necessarily celebrating it anything, but you want to have a really good time and, and a fun event, and we're here to offer that. Um, uh, we can really customize a project to you, so if you feel as though you aren't creative, you are and we really want to get you in here and get you feeling creative and having a good time with your friends, family, you name it. Um, um, so our gallery is open um, Tuesdays to Saturdays, 11 to 5, so anytime during those hours, please come in and take a look at all the local um, goods that we have here and maybe you'll find a piece of art that you really love or furniture. Um, in the evenings, we offer our private events. Um, we, all our artists that we have here have their dates listed, so you can easily just go onto our website, pick a date, tell us how many people that are coming, and boom, bang, register. It's pretty much that easy. And then if you wanted to pair it with um, you know, a mixologist or have appies from a restaurant, just let us know, and we have tons of um, we have tons of connections that we can help plan everything, so all you have to do is show up. We can do all the planning on our end, which makes it super easy for you to have an event, an event here. Hi, I'm Cassidy Miller, and I'm the owner of Studio Yeg Art. And I'm Jamie Hager, co-owner of Hager Group. And together, as a husband and wife duo, we have created Studio Hager. Um, a few years ago when we opened up Studio YEG Art, uh, it was a place for us to showcase local artists and uh, really connect with the art community. Obviously Cass already had those connections, but it gave me an opportunity to meet more makers and artists. And uh, just recently we have actually taken over the bay next door and expanded our showroom, but also put in Hager's office. Um, so with Studio Hager, uh, the kind of the concept of it is to have an e-commerce website that makes it really simple for um, buyers as well as designers, other builders um, to check out where they can also use that platform uh, to pitch local furniture as well as local artists uh, to their clients. The artists and makers that are um, within Studio Hager uh, have all made their pieces very customizable so if you really liked a piece from an artist but say you wanted a different color palette um, you might not get the exact same piece, but they're able to work with you to create um, something that really goes with your home. So same with furniture. If you're looking for certain color palettes, um, you can work one-on-one with, -on -one with those people to get exactly what you're looking for. Um, on top of the e-commerce site, we also have a print magazine that we'll be coming out with um, in the next few weeks. And we really went behind the scenes to all the maker shops to kind of introduce the process that's involved, I think it's often lost on clients and the consumer. Like it's neat to see what goes into making these pieces and introduce them to the makers as well to gain that personal connection. And as a special feature in the magazine too, Cass and I have also done a living local section where we go around town and showcase local businesses that we love to support. And over the years, we're going to continue to, to run this mm -hmm. magazine and we're going to connect with more makers, more artists. And uh, at, at Studio uh, Yegart, we do have many of the pieces that um, are for sale through Studio Hager as well, um, but not all of them, so you can find uh, the other pieces um, through Studio Hager. We will also be um, featuring more and more artists and makers kind of as the time goes, so these, you know, this group of artists and makers isn't static. 
we are going to do pop-up shows for each of the makers and artists at our studio space here um, where we'll team it up with, like I said, with a local restaurant or brewery to, to make a combined event so you can get to meet the makers and they can show off some of their pieces. Hi, I'm Don Hager, co-owner of Hager Group. And I'm Jamie Hager, co-owner of Hager Group. Uh, together we're a father-son team. and uh, I've been doing this since the day I got out of high school. I joined up with my dad. That's over 15 years now and uh, Don wants to give away. <laughs> I was in a lot longer than that. I've been in the building industry for about 40 years and been on my own for about 35 years and then started Hager Group in 2008. So I'm a carpenter by trade and like I said I've been in the business now for 35 years and one of the things we do at Hager is try and make the job as enjoyable as you can. It's always a stressful time when you renovate or build a house but we'd like to think that we do a pretty good job of making it enjoyable for the homeowner as much as you can. We have a really really good group of sub trades that are not only good in their business, they're good guys which is a combination that we really look for in the sub -trade. As far as applying moving forward stuff, we're going to continue to just do um, our high renovations. We'll take on the occasional new build if it's the right fit. Um, what we're really looking for is for, for clients that kind of push the design envelope, allow us our trade a bit of freedom to showcase what they can, what they can do. Um, and that's where we started to bring in more, more elements to our business as far as the real estate division to help our clients find the right home. Uh, we can go in there with renderings, help show them the potential of a property to see if it's a good fit. Um, and then Hager takes over, we're master builder and master renovator certified to perform the renovation. One of the things, uh, Jamie joined us, like he said, about 15 years ago, and it's been such a pleasure to work with somebody with the same attitude as I have. Is the most important thing is you do it right, and that's really the key to us, I think, is you have to do it right. What separates Hager? Mother uh, builders and renovators out there is our personal touch. Um, you get my dad or I on your sites multiple times a week. Um, we're your point of contact and relationships we build with our clients. We encourage them to be part of the process, which I think is pretty rare in the industry. And to continue that on, like I said, with the other elements of our business, being the furnishing, the art, and. Well, also, I think it's important that the uniqueness, we want to do things that are different from what other people do and that's what we find fun to do. What I often find is that it's in Edmonton that we have very few buildings that have any sort of character left and we find it a shame when these 60 or 70 bungalows are knocked down. It's, there's no need for them to be knocked down. Like, and I think people just don't understand what you can achieve with a renovation. I think if you reached out to us, you saw what we can achieve with a design and maintain some of that character of that home, it's, I think it's really important to, to stop knocking these buildings down and allow us an opportunity to, to refurbish them and show us what we can do. I would say more this some of the design back then was really cool you know they did a lot of neat things whereas nowadays it's sort of the same things over and over again so it's just uh, back in the day I think people were a little more original. Uh, we're rebrands in place we've got our new office and there's a lot of exciting things that were in the works so like I said check us out on our website or Instagram or come on in. Yeah.